Hi everyone! So as I mentioned in the Diamond Sky tutorial video, I recommended saving your scraps for a bonus project and here it is! My recommendation for an awesome way to use your scraps from your Diamond Sky quilt. So as you can see, I've saved my kit bag with all my usable scraps. Love these little scrap bags. All right, I've got some unsewn strips as well as some leftovers from the strip sets. Just gonna take a quick look here. Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It'll be great. All right, but this is where we are going. All right, put all that aside. And now here's the ruler that I'm going to use. This is the Scrap Crazy 6 inch block by Karen Montgomery. No affiliation here, just me using a cool ruler. I'll put the link below so it's easier for you to find so, and just no search necessary. But here it is. So we've got four pieces and all nicely labeled A, B, C, and D. Here's the block again. Now, since this is a little crumb piecing variation, it's going to look a bit different, but that's actually why I think this is the perfect project for this kind of ruler. You actually end up with a lot of really unique lines. Do note, you must love a good scrappy quilt for this project. All right, so I'm actually going to pull out some random scraps and just see what fits with the larger ruler pieces. Hmm. This way, maybe this way. Okay, I think this works. I like this. And I'm just cutting directly around the ruler. Ooh, watch that edge. I missed a little bit. I like to turn and realign the pieces as I don't like to cut in wonky directions. So I'm just going to turn, realign my edge and my corner and just match the edges back up. Okay, I have piece B ready. Also, I highly recommend keeping your cut pieces either labeled or stacked with your ruler, especially for this project, because with the extra seam lines of the scraps, you might get your pieces backwards, upside down, inside out. Just want to keep track of everything nice and clean. Now I'm going to do the same with the other large ruler, piece C. Okay, I think that works. I'm using the cut edge and I'm just going to go with it. And same thing, just cut directly around the ruler. And do the same for A and D. Honestly, I really don't think it matters which scraps you use but I think I'm gonna try and avoid having the same print and color in one block, but you could just mystery cut everything and see where you end up. And if you're feeling a little spicy, you might end up somewhere pretty cool. Now I've got all four pieces cut and laid out, time to sew. I'm actually gonna sew C and D first, then A and B. So you'll have two funky half blocks and just combine them up by lining the edges. So the great thing about this ruler is that the corner bits are trimmed off. So you really just have to follow the lines of your cut pieces exactly. And everything will fit in perfect. All the angles will line up and it'll just make your perfect six, six inch block. All right, and here you go. So here's my first one and here's my second. Look at how different these two blocks are. It's the same ruler, but because we're doing a bit of this crumb cut version, they look pretty different. So again, it's the Scrap Crazy 6 inch block by Karen Montgomery. I'm gonna sew a few more. So here it is, nine blocks. I did a quick layout to see what I liked and I was feeling inspired by the broken glass look. So I went pretty scrappy and random in terms of the directions of each block. They're all different. I'd recommend either doing a pillow cover to coordinate with guy quilt, or you could just keep going with the blocks until you get to a crib or baby size quilt. I think it's a great collection for the cooler people in your life. It's got a bright Amazonian vibe. And if you check out any of your favorite retailers, a lot of patchwork quilts are being sold. I honestly think if I do some heavy hand quilting and just straight lines unevenly spaced, it could probably be a $50 pillow at Urban Outfitters. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Jeez, that is a great idea. Hmm. Stay tuned. I'll finish this bad boy and share my Urban Outfitters boho pillow. 
Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed your diamond sky quilt and I hope this inspires you to use those straps in a fun way. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate you and all your amazing projects. Please share your projects with me in my Facebook group at different kinds of quilter. I truly can't wait to see what you guys are doing. Thanks so much.